Leaf, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. Okay, so we have many things to talk about. This is my yes. first time having a conversation with you. Yes. You're from Brooklyn. Yes. Okay. Brooklyn on the Lower East Side. Okay. Yes. It's the combo. Yeah, I like exactly. it. I'm a downtown girl. That's what I try to tell people, you know? Downtown Listen, Brooklyn, downtown New York. It's a vibe. Yes. <laughs> I live in downtown. Katrina, well, she used to live with me, but then she was... Okay. Can I tell you a funny story? She yes. was so adamant mm -hmm. on moving out. <laughs> Mind you, I was trying to help her save money because she has <laughs> student loan debt. I was trying to be a good yes. friend, sister to mm -hmm. her, right? And so she has left me and I haven't seen her. So be honest now, Katrina. <laughs> Do you miss living in downtown? <laughs> Wow, she's it's about to say some disrespect. Ah! Grab your mic and, and answer Leaf honestly. No, I, I live in Harlem. I like Harlem, so I don't miss downtown. I didn't say which one you liked more. Did you I'm notice not mad I didn't at that. I'm not mad at that. It's, it's two vibes. different vibes. Harlem it's different is a vibe, vibes. too. And Harlem it's cool. is a vibe, too. But I like it. That's why I didn't say like, because I know you like Harlem more, which is great. However, do you miss me? I miss the... <laughs> I miss the stocked refrigerator that you had. That's what I miss. Leave. Oh, my God. Let me tell you something. The drama starts already. Right? No, let me stop. Do you have a best friend like Katrina in your life that's, like, going to just stab you in the back in front of everyone? I'm dead. Um... I mean, me and my friends, we have our, we have our, you know, moments. But yeah. I think we, it's all love at the end of the day, as Absolutely. I'm sure it is between you and Katrina. Of course, yes. of course. <laughs> okay, so I want to talk to you about your name, Leaf. Yeah. Okay, tell me a little bit about the name. So it was given to me by my mother um, at birth. Oh, so this is it's my your government name. name? Yes, it's my middle name, but it's my government name. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. Thank okay, you. so why did she give this to you? Um, she told me she had a dream um, where she opens up a baby book of names and it fell on the name Leaf. And then when she woke up, she opened up the same baby book that she had been reading and it fell on the name Leaf. So she was like, God said Leaf. Okay, wait, so it was twice. <laughs> yeah, so in her opening? dream and then when she woke up. <gasps> Two signs? Yeah, two signs. And my mom's very, like, much into, like, you know, God, trusting in the universe. So she was like, yes, this wow. is Wow. Yeah. Okay, so growing up, did you use LEAF or not really? I, in elementary school, I did not use LEAF. In middle school, I started incorporating it a little bit more. But in high school, I actually went to a big school, and there was another girl named Michaela. So I wanted to differentiate myself from Michaela one, Michaela two. Right. And so I was just like, call, call me Leaf. Yeah, exactly. Totally. <laughs> now, your high school, this is a big deal. Lots of yes. big names have gone there. Tell yes. us. Tell us more about it. Um, I had not such a good high school experience, but uh -oh. it is a great high school. What, what's the name again? LaGuardia. Okay. Yes. Uh-oh. Why didn't you have a good experience? Um, I was just really rebellious. Um, my school wanted me to sing opera, Broadway, you know. Um, Interesting. Okay. And that just wasn't really the sound that I was going for. Like, being Puerto Rican, being black from New York, I wanted to make R&B. I wanted to make hip-hop. I wanted to make the music that I listened to. And uh, my school, it really wasn't for that then. Maybe it is now. Things have changed. But at the time, it was not accepted, you know. Ooh. It, it was like, you're going to go to Juilliard or you're just not going to go anywhere, mm. basically. And um, I kind of knew from when I was 16 that I wanted to be a model. I had started modeling. And then um, I knew I wanted to make hip hop and R&B. I didn't really or like just general popular music, you know, because right. right now my sound is very much more pop. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so I got in trouble a lot because I was pretty <gasps> like rebellious. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what did you do that was considered rebellious? Uh, I was throwing a lot of events. They they might have considered them parties, but they were concerts um, for my music, <laughs> you know, outside of school. Yeah. Um, I was definitely known for being outside early. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so you mean ditching? No, Cutting not, well, yeah, I did do that too. But that <laughs> that's not what I was talking about. And actually, I don't even know if my parents know that still. But. Oh, gosh. Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> Sorry, okay. parents. But yeah, so I was really leaving school a lot to go to the studio to uh, throw parties, to get my music out there. And that's kind of how I built my platform. So I'm not upset that I did, you know? True or false, you were handcuffed in a Yes, school? I was. I was arrested from school for graffiti, which is just ridiculous. Wait, Huh? I know. I went to an art school and then got arrested for graffiti. It was pretty crazy. I think they just didn't like me. I'm just going to be I mean, honest. It, sounds it like just sounds like they didn't like me, right? But it's a cool. It's cool. The dean loved me. So we had a great time in detention. So, <laughs> <laughs> Have they tried to contact 
to you now? Yes, they asked me to Stop. do the reunion, and I said no. <gasps> they asked me to perform at the reunion, and I said no. But it's okay. I still love you, LaGuardia, and I would not encourage people not to go because I have a lot of, like, peers that did go there that had a great experience. Right. But just for me, like, I just was very clear about what I wanted to do from young, mm-hmm. and... um they just weren't for it, you know? And I think some people have those type of high school experiences. and some Everywhere. People have, yeah, exactly. Around the country, around the world. Yeah, literally. So this so, is, yeah. And I was a great student. Like, I was an A student all the way until high school. And then, like, it just tanked. But That's okay. okay. That's a discussion yeah. for a different day. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so you knew you wanted to be an artist. Yes. At a very young age. Yes. Was there anyone in your life that confirmed or believed in your talent at a young age that really yes. helped you, you know, stay motivated. Definitely. I would say my grandfather, my well, my great grandfather, my fa- my grandfather and my father play a big role in my music legacy. Um, my great grandfather and my grandfather were both jazz musicians, famous jazz musicians. They played with a lot of like big jazz musicians of their time and then might say their names we oh, have we have to yes. educate people on jackie this legacy. jackie mclean renee mclean and then renee mclean so wow. yeah so and then my father he has always been a huge part of my music journey he's my manager mm-hmm. and um he's just supported me since day one like i mean i won't say day one he was not really <laughs> super sure about it until right. i grew like my following on instagram and everything and then like once i got my first like deal he was like oh damn this is like kind of serious like people are taking you serious like you know but before that he'd always like supported me and always wanted me to win of course he like put me out there as much as he could but I feel like once I finally uh landed my deal with fool's gold he was like wow okay it's not just imaginary it's like really a thing so it's great so did you know growing up you know the legacy you come from Yes, I definitely did. I don't think I understood it until I became older, but I definitely understood jazz. Um, My grandfather made it like a priority for me to learn a lot of instruments. So I learned piano and guitar early and also started singing very early. Okay. Um, He would take me to like jazz concerts and like teach me the history of jazz and music. So I have a very deep history of um, black and Hispanic music because of the fact that I come from a musical family and I I was taught like the lineage of music and how everything kind of came to be, you know, how jazz, blues influenced hip hop, influenced, you know what I mean, all the way to where we are now. And also on the Latin side of like, you know, salsa to like reggaeton to like, you know what I mean? So I'm definitely very musically versed, um, especially I went to like a very musically educated school. So sure. Okay, so your grandfather obviously, yes, you know, exposed you to musical instruments and yes. all this. Now, did you was your great grandfather around? Yes, until I was ten. Wow. Yes. Okay, so you really yes. are around. <laughs> yeah, a lot of musical like yeah, right. just legacy in okay, general. Okay, so what did he say to you? Um, so he just always told me to like, just, you know, stay focused, like just keep making music, you know, that it's all about practice. Like he was definitely a big ear to like a big influence to me on just in general. And also like not to, my mom is also like, she never did anything in, like she never did music herself, but my mother has her own musical legacy that influenced as well Mm -hmm. because my mom was um kind of like a downtown girl like me Mm -hmm. she grew up in brooklyn she was around like de la soul Mm -hmm. uh tribe called quest so you know what i mean and she's actually vanita applebaum so yeah so i just have like music all like i was just made for music honestly did they share any stories about you know back in a day and how it was (laughs) all the time okay was there something that they shared with you that still sticks with you today um, I think the biggest thing that sticks with me today about just music history in general yeah. and just the way music is created is the moment you're in right now is history later. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like right now feels like just a moment, but you're creating the history of tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So I just always think of that in every moment that I go through while I'm creating music. Like I'm trying to create a legacy. I'm not just trying to create like a sound you know what I mean I'm trying to create like what is the legacy of me and how does it play out in the yeah. end of everything do you have a connection to Tribe Called Quest yes you- wait hold on <laughs> Plug One is my godfather 
What is going on? Okay, so let's break it all down because you mentioned your mom and the connection. Okay, I've so- actually never talked about this in an interview ever in my life. This okay, is wait, crazy. tell us the connection. <laughs> um, so they grew up together being friends. They're your still mom. friends to this day, okay. yes. Um, actually, when they were recording, were recording um, some of their projects, this is just here. This is the stories I've been told. I've been told my whole life right. <laughs> that like my mom had an apartment downtown. They would all crash at her place after the studio because it was better than going all the way back to Brooklyn. Right. Um, and they just all became friends and they were all super cool. And like literally to this day, um, they're all still friends, which is amazing. I'm just, I don't know why this is just so, you know what it is? You're used to it. Yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, as humans, naturally, not that we take it for granted, but no, yeah. it's just, wow. No, definitely. It's really all around you, music. Yes. And we're talking icons yes. and legacies. Yes. So it's almost, I don't know. I don't know if you could have done anything else. I don't think I, <laughs> I could know. have, honestly. That, I mean, I did. I did modeling, which is all my own. But um, other than that, like, I feel like I was given this life by God and there's like nothing else that I should really be doing, you know? Was the song named after your mom? Uh, yeah, this whole song is, the Benita Apple Bomb is about my mom, like her measurements, everything. Like your mother? Yes, my mother. Okay, wait, so let me get this right. I want to make sure that I heard you correctly. The classic hip-hop song, the love song, Bonita Applebaum from Tribe Called Quest is about your mom? Because you got to understand, like, when I was growing up, like, I knew the song, but then, like, she sat me down one day and she was like, okay, so I never told you this, but this song is actually about me. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> you? I was like, then I was, like, looking at her and I was like, well, I guess you do have, like, a really nice shape. Like, I could understand, like, you are gorgeous. So, but this is fire. Holy moly. I know. It was pretty crazy. This is crazy. This is yeah. really cool. This, you know what? I, I've i been in broadcasting for 20 years. I yes. love music my whole life. Yes, me Same too. with Katrina. And, you know, I, I would like to think we know a, a lot of stuff. Yes. And I think we do a good job researching. Yes. I, th- this is just, whoa. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, so this is interesting. Yes. Okay. Has your mom shared... Any cool stories outside of this? This is obviously amazing. Just about, you know, her influences and and growing up and, you know, what she sees for you. And did she give you any game or advice? Um, My mom has given me so much advice, like on so many different levels from not just music, but just life in general. Like she is just like such a empowering woman. And like to me, you know, like the way that she speaks about finding your self joy and being true to yourself and authenticity is super important. And she's just like, like, if, like she's really just a badass girl from Brooklyn, honestly. Come like, on I love it. Now. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. And I feel like she supports you. Cause we saw yes. you hanging out the both of you with Yara Shahidi. Yes. Yes. She definitely supports me. That was a really fun event. I didn't even know you saw that. That's yeah. super cute. Yes. Well, this is what both I'm my saying. parents really support me and I'm so yeah. grateful to have parents that do support me. It did take my mom a little bit longer than my father, just because I think being a woman in the music industry, she's oh, seen a lot and she didn't, you know, she wanted to protect me. But, um, I'm just, I'm honestly blessed. Yeah, I'm honestly blessed. For I'm sure. definitely blessed. You know, yeah. it comes with everybody's life comes with, challenges of but course. I'm 100% blessed okay so what was the experience with Yara Shahidi what was it for so it was for Teen Vogue um and it was for the opening bell mm-hmm. uh for Women's Day like mm-hmm. um in commerce like in finance yeah, um so we so were cool. just like supporting women in finance and just being beautiful you know yeah um and Yara is like literally sick like I freaking love her she's gorgeous inside and out and her mom is super cool so it was just an amazing experience. So awesome. Yeah, it was super, super, super awesome. Okay, so we take all of that, and now here we are yes. talking about your music. Yes, my music. Okay, yes. are you nervous? So this, I'm nervous only because it's my baby, and I cannot wait to hear what everybody says. You know, like, yeah. it's like you put it out there in the world, and then you get the feedback, and you're just like, great, I love it. I always love feedback. It's amazing to me, like, the good and the bad, because mm-hmm. it lets me gauge, like, where I am, you know? Yeah. Um, but I really put, like, my my whole heart into this music. Yeah. And I'm so excited about this new sound that I'm creating. Yeah. Like, just in, a, in general. like, And it really feels like New York is behind me. So I feel very excited. What makes you... Oh, two questions to mm-hmm. that. 
Describe your sound. Describe it for someone who may not know about Leaf. Yes. So my so my sound has evolved. I know you've heard it and you've seen it. Um, I would say that my sound before is not exactly my sound now. But mm. as you know, music is always evolving. Right. Um, right now, I'm creating a sound ca- called Hyper Drill. And another sound called Jisco. So Hyper Drill is Hyper Pop and Sexy Drill. Mm -hmm. And Jisco is Jersey Club and Disco. So it's kind of like this pop polished version of the sound that's happening in the tri-state area right Mm now. Mm -hmm. Um, And I just wanted to bring it all together. Like, you know, I'm a girl who listens to a lot of different types of music. Being a girl from downtown, you know what that is. It's like all of the cultures of New York meet Mm -hmm. at those places. So I wanted to make music that represented who I am and represented what I listen to and represented my playlist. Mm -hmm. And um, the artists that I have collaborating on this project Mm -hmm. are all artists that I listen to. And I'm so excited that they got on my project. So it just feels really good, honestly. We're going to get to those artists. Yes. You also mentioned that you feel like New York's behind you. Yes, I do. What is giving you that feeling? Um, I've been making a lot of music with my peers um, from Jersey and from New York, like producers, musicians. Um, you know, and I really feel like everybody's excited about the sound that I'm creating. And, um, I've just been having really good sessions and like, like I've been getting a lot of really good feedback from my peers about this music. So I'm feeling like blessed again to even have those experiences, you know? That's amazing. Yeah, it really is. Okay. So we're going to go over the track list for your upcoming EP, Dream Grow. Okay. So I'm going to say the titles and you're going to give me one word to describe each song. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So we start off with Dream Grow. Dream Girl. I mean, the yeah. word would be Dream Girl. Yeah, <laughs> that's that. Okay, how about Picky, the song you have with Baby Tate? Hmm, unattainable. Oh, how about Little Secret? My crush. <gasps> Two words, but. <laughs> okay, can we talk about your crush? Later. Okay, later, okay, later, later. Okay, no problem. Okay, your next song is Boom, and you got Lay Banks on it. Yes. Um, for my crush. I know that's three words, but first it's about my crush, then it's for my crush. Oh, okay. <laughs> How about copy paste me? That bitch. Yes. <laughs> okay, now how about dream summer? Mm, manifestation. I like that. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and how about stay cool with Cash Cobain? Uh, the heat wave, honestly, that we just went through. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay. Okay. So how did you and Cash Cobain connect for this? Okay. So I've actually been kind of collaborating with the Slizzies for a little bit. Me and Chow did a concert. Like Mm -hmm. I opened up for him uh, 2023, January, Mm -hmm. when I put out the song with him that I had called Stingy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that was like my first introduction to Cash and Chowley and like the whole entire kind of sexy drill movement and then from there we've just been like building a relationship and um I've just been like you know chilling with them they're great they got the city on smash right now I'm super excited about that you know if you are an early beginner seeing where they are like an early beginning early yeah. listener seeing where they are now Huge. just feels amazing you know what I mean because it's like Huge. you were listening to it in 2022 and now 2024 it's like slizzy summer so it's amazing yeah it is really amazing now tell me how it was working with baby Tate for the song picky Baby Tate is super sweet, super cool, talented. I love her vibe, honestly. Yeah. Um, and it was it was a great experience. Like the video shoot, everything was just fire. If you haven't watched it, you should go watch it. It's amazing. Um, and yeah, she's a vibe fully. What what makes her a vibe? Uh, like she's a sweetheart, mm-hmm. but then she's also like just serving. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's effortless. Right? Literally, it's and, effortless. And that's exactly. What it is. Yeah, for real. And it's she's just, just so talented, just generally talented. That's amazing. Like she can do so many things, you know? Yeah. Which I appreciate as a versatile artist. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay, so let's talk about Dream Summer. Yes. Okay. Who do you want to spend your Dream Summer with? Well, you know, I have been thinking more about like, longer relationships oh. and love and oh. everything so you know i'm just manifesting my dream man my dream summer my dream mm-hmm. life right now and that's really where a dream girl comes from right right um being a dream girl is having a dream life that you envision and not settling for less so that's really what dreams dream girl means to me yeah 
We're not going to skip over you talking about your crush. Your crush. I know. You're trying to get it out of me. <laughs> okay, so does this crush know? Did no. You have a crush on them? So on Little Secret, I say that he doesn't know about me having a crush on him, right? Like in real life, he doesn't know? No, yeah, no, he doesn't know. Okay, wait. Is this person someone we know? Is it a celebrity? Is it someone famous? Uh, no. Okay, good. Maybe. Oh, wait. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> got me good <laughs> okay 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 trying to keep it spicy okay so wh why what is the hold up like why hasn't it happened yet the, the love connection I'm the type of person that I feel like I like to be fully pursued you know so for me it's just I haven't you know like he has to come to me he has to pursue me so I don't really do the whole going after people you mm -hmm. know what I mean yeah Oh, but how's he going to know that you're vibing with him? That's the whole thing. On Little Secret, it's about him never knowing and me keeping it to myself. So do you want him to ever know? <laughs> I think he'll know when I'm ready. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you put in enough work, then it's like, okay, yeah, I like you too. So you do both. You rap and sing. Yeah. Which one do you prefer more? Um, I actually like to have a perfect balance. I really love the perfect balance of both. Like, I think of... Um, like girls that I love to listen to and they usually have like a good balance of both. Uh -huh. I like to experiment with both as well. Like I've done hard, harder raps and then I've done softer raps. I've done like harder singing, softer singing. So I think for me, I really can't pick. It's really hard to be honest. But everybody has an opinion. Like everyone has an opinion. Okay, so what do your fans say? What do they like more out of you in the comments, which is such a terrible gauge, by the way, because we know how comments are and... I use them as a gauge too, though. But honestly, like I would have stopped doing one if I had a clear indication. But they literally love both so much, and they're so like avid about it too. Like some fans will be like, "You need to just rap." Some will be like, "You need to just sing." And then some of them are like, "If you ever stop singing and rapping, I'm not listening." Oh yeah, they're pretty intense. My fans Very. are intense. Yes. <laughs> okay, I wanted I wanted to talk a little bit more about love, just yes. a little bit. Okay, so. When was the last time you were heartbroken? Uh, so I just got out of a relationship um, a year and a half, two years ago. Okay. And I was definitely heartbroken. Like, I'm a lover girl at the end of the day. And um, it was hard for me to let go. Um, but I had to make the best choice for myself. And it was kind of like, it wasn't a bad breakup. It was kind of just like a, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, I've just been getting in touch with myself, figuring out what I want more, which is exciting. And I love being single. As much as I love being in a relationship, I also love being single. And that's important. Yes. You need that balance Definitely. for sure. But what would you say was the final, you know, yes. just the, the straw that broke the camel's back in this situation? What ended the relationship? Um, it was infidelity. Not <gasps> on my part. They cheated? Yeah, they cheated. And I, how did you find out? Um, I found out because um, basically he fell asleep with his phone open to oh. the text with pictures of him cheating. It was pretty Stop dramatic. It. Yeah, it was pretty dramatic. Wait, so you it was open. Did yes. you I, let's be honest, we can't skip this step. Yes. You snooped. No, I didn't. It was literally like he fell asleep with his phone. Like, oh, it was. It in was a in sign. my face, yeah, it was like <gasps> God did not want me to be with him anymore. Like, cause I don't do those type of things. So, but I always believe, like, if I'm not supposed to be with somebody, that it's gonna be very clear, you know. Oh, this was clear. Yes, it was super clear. This was a sign. Yeah, Leaf, wake up. Literally, and I, I was super calm about it too. I literally just sat him down and I was like, Hey, so you're cheating. Yeah, and um, it's over. And what did he say? Did he try to defend himself at all? Um, he. Tried to lie. He he did the whole like you know like uh. It, but then I think he realized like yeah no he knew he knew I knew so he kind of just like let it go and was like you know I'm sorry. Do you think a cheater is always a cheater though, or do you think they can change? Um, I think that everybody can change. I don't think ev like I don't think if you're a cheater you're always a cheater. But I also don't think that cheating is acceptable. So mm -hmm. I wasn't gonna stick around for it. You weren't gonna try to figure it out. Yeah, exactly. Or find out. Or find out. Or et cetera. You know, like I yeah. think if I was in like a ten year marriage and like you know, then it's like we have to figure this out because we've been together so long. We're married. Sure. If you want to take that route, right? Right. Because you fully have have the right to leave it even if you know yeah. but 
we were not in that. You know what I mean? It was like, yeah, no. Has he tried to contact you? Of course. Oh. All my, okay, so this is the thing. All your exes contact you. Go ahead, finish but, it. It's okay. But through email or Cash App because they don't have Cash any other app? way to contact me. Yes. Are they sending money? Yes, to talk to me. Oh my God. Yes. What a time. What a time. <laughs> and are then you, you get some money. I might not reply so like. Wait, are so you keeping take your the money? Chance. Yeah, I'm keeping the money. <laughs> For the inconvenience of heartbreak. Yeah, yeah. For me, listen. Re- like reparations of my heart. Listen, can I tell you something? <laughs> so Mariah Carey, this yes. is, was a story that she has sued her ex-fiance, who was yes. a billionaire, for wasting her time. And I if I remember too. correctly, yes. she won. I would too. <laughs> By the way, my birthday is the day before Mariah's, so. Stop it. <laughs> yes. What is really I'm, going on between us right now? Right? I'm definitely on that um the diva vibes for sure. But I'm not, I, I well, let me not get into that. Wait, what? No, no, no. We love well, first I off, love Mariah to I death in love, pieces. Yes. I love Mariah to death in pieces. It's so it's, I have nothing negative to say. Come on. Like, Literally. I mean, she is and I feel like because she doesn't flex on people, I yes. think people don't like give her truly the credit she, she deserves, deserves. In my literally, opinion. me too. I the I, first ever CD that I the first CD I ever had was Emanci- Emancipation of Mimi. Come on, yes, it was so good. I was singing that. I was singing my heart out to those songs. <laughs> like I didn't. I'd never been through heartbreak. I was like five. Yeah, um, I was singing still. my heart out to those songs. <laughs> Okay, so dream girl rule number one, Mm -hmm. you posted this, that you should be getting flowers every day. Yes. (laughs) Every day? I was being a little dramatic to trigger the internet, but I think at least once a week. Okay. Once a week is, I think that's at least the bare minimum. Come on, like, flowers? Come on. It's a simple ask. Okay, so what does someone have to do to get your attention? Right now. Flowers is a nice start. Okay, flowers. Yes. Okay. I'm definitely a flower girl, so pink roses is my flower of choice. And I can see the earrings. Yes. Looks beautiful. Pink roses. Um, Then I need, uh, I like a planner. Like, I'm not the type of go with the wind type of girl. Like, you can't hit me on a Friday like, hey, you want to spin the block? No, no, no. We're not doing that. You got to come correct. Yes. Come on a Tuesday if you want to see me on Friday with the full itinerary of what we're doing on Friday (laughs) with the restaurant, what kind of outfit I should wear, and let's get into it. You feel me? Oh, you're clear. I have a busy schedule. Yeah, you are. And you're busy. And it's like, well, if you really want my time, give me the reason. Exactly. Give me the real reason. Show me what you want. Literally. Okay. So what are some red flags for you when it comes to dating? Um, indecision, indecision, like, sorry. Yeah. Indecisiveness. Uh-huh. Indecision. Yeah. Um, not clearly knowing what you want. Like if I, if, you know, if you're having a conversation with somebody and, and they're saying like filler yeah. stuff, you know, nothing substance. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, oh, where do you see yourself in five years or what, what kind of relationship are you looking for? Like stuff like that. And they just like are so unclear for themselves. It's like. How are you going to, if you're not clear for yourself, how are you going to be clear for us? Ooh. You know? Yeah. Like, I'm not doing that. Yeah, you know what you want. I do. And you know, more so than anything, what you don't want. What I don't want at all. <laughs> but I do know what I want, too. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I know what kind of guy I want. I know what kind of guys are my type. So I don't really like to waste time doing too much else, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right now someone slides into your DM trying to get your attention. Yes. What would be the ideal candidate? Um, I don't really go through the DMs. Like, I really, you need to meet me in person. Like, if God is, if you're meant to be in my life, you're going to be placed in my life in person. Like, the DMs are too messy. I have celebrities. Every girl in the world. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if if they could sell it, they would be packaging and shipping it to every house in America. You know what I mean? Wow. <laughs> like, wow. that's how I feel about, like, it's so bad out here. <laughs> I know you won't say which celebrity, but I'm sure celebrities are in your DMs. I think celebrities are in everybody's DMs. No. You don't think so? Not everybody's. Well, a large amount. Leaf, I'm sure your DMs are moving at a different rate. Probably. I'm be honest. But in general, not just celebrities. <laughs> yeah. Of course, in general. Yes. But I'm sure... You know, celebrities and, you know, famous people. They're, yeah. They're, uh, and, but you I mean, no- but these are my peers. So, sure. you know, if you look so at you it that no way. Interest. Yeah, not really. 
oh, that's, you just set them back. Everyone's like, oh, I don't have a chance. Okay, that's fair. Well, no, people have a chance, but it's just about like coming the right way. Like just because you have certain things doesn't mean like the doors are just fully open. Like obviously I want a certain man who has accolades, but personality means a lot to me. And consistency is the number one. Okay. Yeah. I love you know what you want, by the way. (laughs) I wish I was this clear for most of my life. I was not. Thankfully, I got it together. And here I am and, you know, thankful for my husband. But I'm glad you know. (laughs) You You are going to spare your heart many, 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 many many heartbreaks. Okay, what was the most scandalous thing someone's done to you in a relationship? Um, Honestly, the men I did are pretty respectful. So the most scandalous is really cheating. Just the cheating Yeah, just cheating. Like... I, I would like to say that the men I've dated are respect respectable men, so right. they kind of know how to treat me. As you can tell, I don't let yeah, a lot yeah, of things yeah, slide. Yeah, you're not so. letting anything slide. <laughs> I don't think they would really do too much, yeah. you know? How about for you? Do you have any regrets in a past relationship that you learned from? Um, I think when I was younger, I didn't take more chances in love as far as, like, in my relationships. I think I was a little bit scared, um of letting my heart be on the line, whereas now I'm a lot more vulnerable with my emotions and expressing how I feel. Like, before I would just be like, oh, he's acting crazy, block. Like, you know what I mean? (laughs) Now I'd be like, okay, let's just talk it out. Maybe I misunderstood something. You know what I mean? This is growth, yeah. (laughs) I won't say I'm not still, I I wouldn't say I'm still not a little bratty. Like, you know what I mean? I could throw some fits, but um, I definitely have grown a lot in the communication department. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what, do you, what did you throw fits about? Um, a lot of things. Really? Yeah, like, I just don't go for a lot of things. Like, I literally feel like, um, you know, because I feel like people try to test you, and I just oh, don't yeah. like that. Like, any type of slight disrespect, I would just, like, block them before I would even communicate. But now I'm more like, okay, did you mean to disrespect me, or did you just not know better? Right. You know? Like, Are they scared that you're going to write a song about them? Um, I think a lot of men are scared of that, but I usually don't. Because if oh. I don't want to know you anymore, I don't want to have a song in my head about you. Because then I have to perform it, you know? Oof. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're serious. Yeah, I'm so serious. So you would never go back to an ex? I have only gone back to one ex, and he's so lucky. Like, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> he's so lucky. I yes. think he knows that about, about <laughs> me, you know, because he knows I don't go back. So I feel like he knows, and he feels lucky about it we're still friends so oh that's okay so yeah. that means there was a friendship there. yeah definitely there's a there the reason why like we have open communication and why I did go back to him even though it still didn't work out um it's just because he's like so real mm-hmm. like he's always kept it real with me he's always held good. it down when I needed like anything so right. there's no reason for me to be mad at him or ever like you know what I mean yeah. like he's such a good person and I really hope that I wish him the best forever that's good yeah I think that that just shows the maturity the growth and yes. also that if you know someone's a good person you're still gonna want them to be in your life exactly just because you know like we have a long life to live just because there was a situation doesn't mean you have to cut somebody off as long as they're respectful to you right and he knows that if i'm ever in a relationship that there's no communication so i was gonna ask you about this okay so what do you think about someone still being friends with their ex if they're in a new relationship i feel like that's disrespectful to your current relationship yeah um i think maybe after a long time of being together with that person if you guys do have a conversation allowing that in the future based on your preferences and your comfortability then I think that maybe could be a conversation but I just don't perceive it as something that is healthy for a relationship I like this love advice let's keep going with this right now okay so (laughs) if you go through a breakup should you delete your ex off of your socials um I think that that's fair just so that you don't have to like do it later I feel like it's better to get it over with than to do the messy thing later you know like the person you're with finds out and then it's like a conversation (laughs) and you know I try to avoid all headaches because I'm very beautiful and I know that gives men anxiety um I try to just avoid all headaches before I even get there like if I'm taking you serious I'm gonna take these 10 things off your list so we can get to the next 10 (laughs) you feel me (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> That's so great. Okay, so you're in a new relationship. Yes. A hypothetical situation. And your current relationship, he decides to wish his ex a happy birthday. Hmm. How do you react? <laughs> I'm the type of person that, like, I move based on how you move, right? Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. 
Exactly. <laughs> so if you want to wish your ex happy birthday, then I should be able to wish my ex happy birthday. Ooh, here we go. You feel me? If you want to <laughs> go to your ex's birthday party, then I guess I'm allowed to go to my ex's birthday party. That's and right. I feel like we just shouldn't open those doors because I'm not like, you know, I don't think that all roles are fulfilled the same. But sure. I do believe that respect is an equal thing. Ooh, okay. <laughs> what if you go through this again, hypothetical mm-hmm. current boyfriend's phone yes. because they accidentally left it open and yeah. they still have photos of their ex in there? Um, Is this a I red flag? I mean, I would think I would have to go really far. But if it's like the first photo that I see, like then that's just like why. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't go through people's phones. So hypothetically, if that were to happen, it would be the first photo. Yeah. And I'd just be like, what is what is this? Yeah, like... And when was this taken? But that's happened to me, but only because I've never deleted photos. So now I make sure I do that because I don't like, I don't like those conversations. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's <gasps> just like, you know? Okay, wait. So boyfriend goes, sees old photos of ex in your phone. Yes. And freaks out. And I'm just like, these are from like seven years ago. What are we talking about right now? <gasps> you know what I mean? <laughs> Ooh, but that's leave. why I try to avoid those conversations yeah, yeah. because it's really not that serious, but it turns into something that it's really not. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, because <laughs> I'm not checking for my exes, but if you are and you want to have a headache, then go ahead. Go right ahead. Yeah, you know? Okay, so how about somebody who's in a new relationship and they're following their ex? Yes. Is that a red flag? I don't even want to know who your ex is. So if that conversation comes up and I find out who your ex is and I find out you're still following them, then that's like, this is a bigger conversation at this point, you know? Oh. I don't really want to know anybody's exes. Like, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, like, we're not friends. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Like, it's just adding to, like, things I don't need to stress about. If if you're my man, then (laughs) I should never have to stress about who your ex ever was. Yes. You know? Okay, so let me ask you a question. Just some love advice. So my really good friend <clears throat> maybe rhymes with Matrina, but <laughs> she loves you. So she's totally okay with her man's exes, mm. and it's not totally okay. Mm. It was like some crazy scenario. Please, I want to know. Uh, yeah, what? What was the scenario? You said you would go out to dinner with them. Is wow. that what I said? Yes, that's what you. No, I think we said would it be okay if. My oh. man went out to dinner with his ex, and I said yes in the group, but not one on one. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> you're really, really, really nice, but exactly. yeah, if you're if my man was gonna go see his ex, then I would definitely have to be there for sure. Exactly, leave. Talk but you're really sweet because I'm her. not doing that. Like my why, man what is has the a point? lot of friends. He has a lot of friends. <sighs> friends and i trust him wholly i trust him wholly he has friends that are women and yeah. you know well it sounds like you picked a good one then you know yeah. if you're not stressed then you I'm know not like stressed. i can't be in your business even me like i wouldn't want you in mine so <laughs> thank you okay so one last love advice question what would you say if you saw your best friend's man cheating on her and you're right there in person, mm. you're at a restaurant, you see them boot up with somebody else. Are you conf- You're filming. I like this. <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> yes. My friends know how I come about them. And I think that they all date good men, too, so I would never have to have that experience. But it's definitely the, oh, yeah, I'm just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yes. Immediately sent, mm-hmm. in time, here's mm-hmm. the location. What are we doing, sis? Filming it as evidence. Yes. I'm sending it right away. Way. But I am going to have to go up to them and say oh, something. Oh, no. I mean, once I get the confirmed that is not a girl that I know, I'm definitely going up and being like, hey, so where is <laughs> my homegirl? Because You're what are you doing friend. right now? You're a real friend. Yeah. And then I'm going to tell the girl, I'm going to be like, yeah, his girlfriend is gorgeous. <laughs> like, you should see her. Here's her Instagram. She's like, beautiful. You've never heard of her? Oh, it's so crazy. That's crazy because she's about to pull, pull up, up right, right now. now. Exactly. So... <laughs> This is exciting. You can save yourself. Like, if you're not part of the equation, sis. Like, you're not the problem. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not coming for you. I'm just giving you game. I love this. Because so many Definitely. times I think friendships, people don't want to upset their friend. And they don't want to tell them, like, what they saw or the yes. truth. And it's like, no, tell me. Mm, yeah, no, me too. Me and my home, my, me and my homegirls, we all hold each other, like, accountable. We have really healthy relationships. We have great communication. So great. I think they would know anything coming from me is from, like, a place of love and never a place of like attacking them or trying to belittle them or trying to stun on them or you know what I mean yeah. like we have those type of healthy relationships and I know they do the same for me so Absolutely. you know like I wouldn't do anything less 
Oh, yeah. And if they saw your man cheating. Oh, yeah. They'd be all over it. Come on. They now. see my man talking to girls and they'd be like, you look the other yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I, I think one of my homegirls one time, she was like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like your man was just like lingering around that girl a little too long. And I was like, girl, don't worry about it. Lingering. Lingering. It was a second more was, than I Yeah, liked. exactly. Literally, I was like, "Girl, don't. It's okay. Thank you. I appreciate you, but I think I think we're good. We're okay. It was a second longer." How did you react when your song debuted on Jordan Peele's series Swarm? I was so confused. Wait, so you didn't? Okay, first off, okay. tell us the name of the song, and then okay, what so happened? it was F W M. Um, lied to me. That's the parentheses, and um, it's actually a song I did a while back. So. I was getting a lot of messages like, hey, you know, you're on Jordan Peele's new series. Like, I heard your song. So I called my label and I was like, hey, like, am I on a TV series? Like, I didn't. Did I sign off on that? Like, what's going on? Do you guys Uh-oh. know? Did they? Yeah. They were like, yeah, of course we know. We talked about it a year ago and you signed all the contracts. And I was like, oh, OK, <laughs> great. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. I'll call you back later. Yeah, I'll, call, I'll call you later. You're going to watch it. Like, you know <laughs> I was super confused. The first call I got was my mom. Then I got like a bunch of like from my family, my homegirl is like, like, and then a bunch of tags. And I was like, this is okay. Something's going on, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, That's really yeah, cool though. It was pretty, it was pretty awesome. I think I knew like it was going to be in a show. I didn't know it was Jordan Peele and I, I didn't mean, know like the whole the name. I know. Uh, Swarm. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, meaning... The label oh, yeah, could yeah. told you was I for think it Jordan probably P- was all on there, but I just trust my label so much that I just be like, oh, cool, sync. You, Let's you just go. read those contracts. I know, right? Sorry to the label. Don't be <laughs> mad at me. <laughs> Leaf, you need to read those contracts. It's because my father is my manager, so, like, you know, I just feel so protected, but I do need to read, like, you what's going on. You need to read it. We love Dad. <laughs> yes, I know. My dad's my best friend. Yes. He reads all my contracts, contracts yes. but he has been telling me to read you them. got to read, read them. it yourself because yes, if true. something is funny yes. or you can't understand it yes. we got to understand, understand it. it exactly yeah no it's true that's me being you know big cis energy yes. right now no Just no like, no you're 100% contract. right and my father also says that to me okay. all the time Look, so. dad is looking out for you <laughs> I know okay so I want to talk about your modeling campaign yes okay so you've worked with Calvin Klein yes Good American the mm-hmm. list goes on and on yes out of the brands who's gifted you the most you know what I mean so right now I am a Pat McGrath muse so Pat McGrath yeah so actually my face today is by Pat's team shout out to Jonathan thank you okay can Uh, I can we pause one second (laughs) yes can I give you a compliment yes okay I always ask because I never want you know to make anyone uncomfortable yes gorgeous thank you so you are walked you. in stunning yes you but do always you. literally but i did not want to be overbearing yes. or make you feel like oh my gosh she's a creep no. but you are <laughs> stunning and i was gonna thank say you. whoever this this makeup is giving right oh my god when he finished i was like skin everything eight no crumbs like you know what i mean like i was living for oh. myself <laughs> okay so now tell me about this partnership yes um so i started modeling for pat in 2018 um and i've just been a part of her like muse uh category since then i'm number 18 shade as, as her foundation um i've been in sephora like i do a lot of stuff with them they're the best they actually did the makeup for my dream girl cover too Ooh. they do the makeup for a lot of my my uh video shoots photo yeah. shoots so i'm another thing blessed like honestly i have to say it a million times like my yeah. life blessed like thank you amen thank you to god Absolutely. like i really could not be living my dream more Dream life, dream uh, girl. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's not to say that you haven't experienced pain yes, and hurdles and, and all that. Because that's a part of life mm-hmm, for everybody. Literally. Everybody has a story. Yes. Okay, wait. Hold on. So who lets you keep everything? Like, you know, you're like, oh, yes. I can't wait to model for them. Or- Pat literally sends me makeup like once a month. Like, And <gasps> anything I ever ask for, she just sends it to me. Like, Listen, I'm I'm never, I, ha- I have to say, I have not bought makeup for the past like five years. Like maybe one or it. two things here and there. But no, like I have so much makeup, girl. Like I'm, I live for it. Like it's the best. And, you know, for people who may not be so aware about the brand yeah no this is top tier no this is like this okay is like so the pat de la does, yeah like pat does all of the makeup for fashion weeks like all the runway looks that you see the uh doja cat red Oof. uh bedazzled look that she did like all the top fashion yeah, looks creme makeup de la looks creme. is pat like she is and gorgeous amazing black woman from the uk fire like she's such she's legendary 
And by the way, I know because it's so like natural to you, but I love how you're just calling her Pat. Like, yeah, yes, you know, know, Pat, Pat like, McGrath. Let me, let me I know, I'm being so Pat casual. Right Pat, you know, you are queen mother of everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> have yes. you had Pat do your makeup? Yes. Her hands have Wait, touched my face. How was this experience? It was amazing. She's like so sweet and just such a boss. Like I love seeing her at work. It is so fire to see. Like it's just so like it feels so iconic. Do you have conversations while she does it? Yes, or? she's the sweetest. Like she's so sweet. She's literally like the sweetest. I'm living through you right now. I know. Literally when it happened to me, I think I almost fainted. I was trying to keep it together. Like I was fully trying to keep it together. I was like, like the first time, like after a second time, third time, you're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> she knows me now. Like I'm cool. <laughs> but the first time I was like, literally like breathe in, breathe out. Don't faint. Don't sweat. She's doing your makeup. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> it was like such a moment. So how did she like decide to work with you or select you as her model i went to a casting and i like literally was like i'm gonna get this like i, I really believe strongly in manifestation i wanted to work for for pat for a while and um they finally had a casting and i was like no i'm doing this like i am a pat like i'm so amused. you auditioned like, yeah i auditioned yes that's why i say like for like wow. i really worked like a lot of like all the modeling stuff i've ever done has been like auditions going in there you know what I mean like just you know like you need me like you know what I mean yeah. come on like I'm the face like let's go you know so um I really feel like so blessed because I was nervous I was like I really want to work for Pat and literally the next day I got a call <gasps> they're like you want to do the foundation and I was like Hell yes. Yes. are you crazy <laughs> you know so <laughs> wow what happens in your audition like are they putting mm. makeup on are you like what what did you have to do? So modeling castings is kind of like feels awkward because you walk in there. It's kind of like almost like jail. Like you go in there with like the the name thing. You go, you're like, yeah. I am Leaf. And then you do like maybe sometimes a little talking, but usually not. And you just walk out and then you just pray. And then like, you please. just hope for the best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Has there ever been a bad audition? Yes. Um, even though I love Marc Jacobs, I was just so nervous during my Marc Jacobs audition. Oh. And the craziest part, the re the reason I really got nervous is because when I walked into the building, oh, no. I walked into the elevator and someone was like, can you hold the elevator? And I held it and it was Marc Jacobs. Oh! I literally was like, Oh my god! So when I went to the audition, I was so nervous. Yes, at this I point. was so nervous. So I like I tripped when I walked, and it was like it was a mess. No, you but tripped. I did. Oh. Exactly. Wait, how bad was the trip? Like I didn't fully fall, but it was like a you know what oh. I mean. So I didn't get it, but I, that was an iconic experience. Like being in the elevator with Mark Jacobs and like. <laughs> Wait, I love how it turned into, yeah, I tripped. I didn't get it. But I was in the elevator with it's Mark Jacobs. Jacobs. Like, who cares? <laughs> Literally. This is so amazing. I love your journey. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm so excited for the music and yes. what you're going to do next. What are you hoping people can take away from your project? Which, by the way, I haven't heard the whole thing because the yes. label has not sent it to me. Yeah, because they look at me as like an outsider. <laughs> no, and that's fine. I'm going to airdrop it to you right Please, now. Please, <laughs> because I would love to hear the full body yes. of work. What do you want someone to take away after listening to it? Just from Dream Girl in general, I want people to feel like, like what I said earlier, whatever your dream life is, whoever you see yourself as your dream boy, your dream girl, that childhood dream that you've always wanted or the dream you've created yesterday that you feel like you want to manifest for your life. Don't settle for anything less because you deserve it. And life should be magical. Literally. I love this. Yeah. And when in doubt, repeat that part over and, and over, over and, and over, over again. again. I literally have mantras I repeat every morning. So, yes, I fully believe that. Is there one that you can leave us with? Um... I think that one that I always say to myself is good things happen to me every single day. So I love that. Yeah. <laughs> is there anyone around you that manifests a lot or did? Any yes. Who? My mom definitely manifests a lot and she definitely like from young engraved that in me. So. And I feel like you got that from your mom too, as far as the signs. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Astrology you're saying? Like, what? you know, the signs. Like, if, Oh yeah. Like, like the guy cheating on you. Yes, exactly. He literally had his, his phone. phone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Believing in, like, you know, God yeah. and, like, the universe to protect you in those moments and knowing That's that right. every day good things happen for you. So even if it feels, like, not the best in that moment, it's something that's leading you to something so much better. Have you watched that 
I don't want to say it was a documentary, but there was something called The Secret that came out. Yeah, like so long ago. Right? Yes, it was so long ago. I saw <laughs> yes. it recently. I think it was, I forgot what platform, maybe, oof, I don't remember if it was Netflix. I don't know where it was, yeah. but I came across it the other night when yes. I was eating Gushers because mm -hmm. I, you know, it's I'm a mom, <laughs> yeah, let me live, I'm yes. going to eat some Gushers. <laughs> and I came across it and I remember watching it or hearing about it a long time ago. So I watch it and yes. it's really all of this. That, yeah, it literally is. There's a lot of books like that, like um, The Alchemist yes, yes, and yes. like uh, Four Agreements. Four Agreements, yes. exactly. And then also, uh, what's the other one that's more about like the 10,000 hours? Oh. oh, the outliers. Exactly. Yes. There's so many good books like that. Honestly, I I read a lot of books just in general. My right. favorite are like sci-fi. I'm not I'm going to be honest. I'm a little bit of a nerd. But um, if I'm not reading sci-fi, I'm, I'm reading like better. Like what is self-improvement? Self yeah, yes. self I'm all about self-help. Me too. I've been about self-help my whole life. and yes. I don't even know. Like, Why? I, know right? going on. I was like, I just need to improve. I just know. I need to get better. <laughs> it's because we're probably A-type girlies. We always want, like, the best for Wait, ourselves. Wait, do. Wait, when's your birthday? I'm an Aries. What's your birthday? Oh, my gosh. Wait, so it's April? Are you April? I'm March. You're March. Yes. Oh, wait, Mariah. Yeah, exactly. Duh, we talked about what's I'm a Taurus. Oh, my God. I love Tauruses, though. And I love... This all makes <laughs> sense, sense right? to me. Are yes. you kidding me? Yes. You know what's so funny? Um, I forget what we were talking about earlier, but I was going to say, like, oh, yes, Baby Tate is a Taurus, and that's why I love her. She's so cool. Like, I love Taurus. We're a vibe yeah, right you now. Guys are, yes. I am so excited for you, yes. and I really, really hope that you continue being this light and just this amazing person forever. Thank you. Don't let all the success, you know, or the comments <laughs> yes. or whatever, because that comes with yeah, the success, I know, right? Yeah, I know, it does bring you down at all because yes. you are so incredible Thank and you, you have so much to offer and you don't you. have to but you share your talents with us yeah and i'm so grateful and thankful to see you on this journey thank you and same to you no, thank I'm you so proud of you and come back anytime yes. this is home okay <laughs> and we'll be waiting for you and cheering you on thank you of course yeah. <laughs>